Hello everyone, this is Jig, and this is how you use Texel Elf's new filter uh, that makes blocks appear out of nothing. It's really cool. Uh, I have a mini setup of the video that you already saw with the trees and such. And um, let's build this. We're gonna. We have some presents inside this wrapping, uh, and we're gonna set the tree up afterwards. So, first, you wanna select the area that you wanna build in uh, that you want to filter. So, we're just gonna select the presents first and we're gonna make the presence appear first. So you go to your filters and you choose AMLP secret block filter. There's a link in the description to that filter. Um, and now there's a couple of different options here. The delay until start, and this is the most important one. This is the delay when you log in, uh, you have this many ticks or world cycles until the stuff starts spawning. So we're gonna use 100 as the base and the presents are going to appear 100 after we log into the world. Now, there's no actual way to trigger this. You may have seen Vex's video um, <laughs> where he pulls a lever and it makes a tree appear. That's that's BS. That doesn't actually happen. Uh, he's just trolling everybody. So, delay until start 100 uh, and the delay between each block. And this is how long between each block. Uh, obviously, you can adjust the delay between rows, layers, um, and there's other options here and direction uh, that the stuff spawns in. So filter block options, this is the most important part. Um, we're going to do the presence first. So we want to make sure that we do not use the wool. So you obviously click that empty space and change it to wool. And you want to make sure to ignore damage value and the wood. The reason we do it like that is so it will only do the things inside the presence and not the wood that we have selected and not the wool that we have selected. So now when I press filter, uh, it will have only filtered the things inside these boxes. Everything that is inside these boxes, um, that's a block and not entities. It doesn't do entities at all. Uh, after that, we're gonna do the presence. So if we select, uh, well, we've already got it selected. We just gotta make sure we don't select the wood and change this to use only below. We're gonna change the timing to 150. That will make sure 50 after the other stuff, the presents have spawned, uh, the presents will spawn uh, not long after. And when I press filter, it's gonna do the presents. Now we're gonna select the tree. And I'm sure you know how to use MC edit to select the tree so I don't need to <laughs> don't need to go over it um, this tool is extremely powerful you can do hu huge objects even redstone um, but you need to make sure you get the delays right because otherwise if the redstone appears uh, and there's no block to land it on uh, it's just gonna pop off so after that we're gonna do the wood next so we're gonna do that at the 200th tick we're gonna start the wood so we'll select the wood and we've got to make sure that it's used only below because we only want the wood to be done. And after that, the leaves. And actually we're gonna make the leaves fall down from the top. So we're gonna select downwards and we'll do that at 20. 220 sounds about right. So you'll see the the leaves will appear from the top to the bottom. And then we have to do the glowstone and the wool. So just select the wool and the glowstone. We'll do that one. Uh, we'll just do those the same. It's easiest, I guess. Uh, we'll do that upwards again and then they'll meet up at the star. So we'll do that at uh, 50, 250. And finally, the star. But I do wanna show you something else that's really cool. This will really help uh, when you're trying to get your timing right. If you zoom in on the top blocks here uh, and hover over them, it will actually tell you See where it says progress tag float 255? That's the timing uh, for that block. 
so we've got 256. So we know that at 256, this very top block, which is probably the glowstone, um, this very top block is going to be spawned into ex existence. So if we want the star to appear exactly after that, we're going to go for 257. So 257.0. Uh, we've got the use only gold below, yeah. And there we go. That's all of that stuff done. Now, when you save it, make sure before you go into the world, you copy the world because this is a one time thing. Uh, it will only work one time, and as soon as you log into the world, all of your progress will be gone. So, if you want to test something, copy it, test it out on the test one, and then you can complete uh, working with, with other stuff. So, let's jump into the world and see how it looks. Well, you've already seen how it looks, but uh, let's do it again, and I'll talk about it. So here we have two of the uh, worlds. We're going to use the copy, and as soon as we log in, you're going to see uh, a couple of shadows where the stuff was. The presents are going to appear first. Come on, presents. Come on, presents. And then they're going to get wrapped. Come on, wrapping. <laughs> and then the tree is going to spawn. With the trunk, then the leaves should come up uh, down from the top, and then the tinsel and the star. Ta da! And that's how it works. It's um awesome. I guess uh, A AMLP, uh, another Minecraft Let's Play, came up with the idea and didn't tell anybody how to do it. So now you know, and uh, I hope uh, everybody can use this and make some really cool stuff in the future. So thank you for watching and stay tuned.